guys, welcome back to another cook on the channel. And today is a Sunday night. Uh, we've had a day of getting everybody ready for the week ahead. So we wanted something nice and fast to cook. So we decided to go with chicken burgers. So nice quick cook. I have chicken fillets here. We're gonna use it as the chicken burger. I've just put them into a Ziploc bag, pounded them out. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, smashed avocado with them. I have a little homemade rub here we're gonna try on them. Uh, toast the buns off, and then we're gonna have them with some sweet potato fries. So, I thought I'd give it a go. I've never done a chicken burger in this form on the channel. So, the ones we've done before were the, the battered, southern fried chicken burgers. Uh, but these are just straight chicken breasts. Uh, so, we'll get them seasoned up. KJ is fired up. We're going direct cooking today. Grates on the highest level. So, we're still getting that nice direct heat, but it's not gonna be too crazy. So, I'll take our fillets, lay them out flat on the cutting board here. I need to get a little bit of oil on them just to act as a binder for our rub. So, just a little drizzle on each, don't need a lot. Plus this will also help stop them sticking to the cooking grates, because that's one thing we do not want. I'll give that a rub in. Now our homemade rub. Uh, there is nice savory flavors in here. There's no sugar in it whatsoever, so it's not a sweet one. Uh, but we have paprika, turmeric, we have parsley, rosemary, a um, little bit of oregano, there's salt, pepper, and then garlic and onion, so more savory flavors going in there. Uh, the oil we're using today is the garlic and rosemary from Brighter Gold. Uh, so again, garlic, rosemary flavors in there as well. We'll tie in well with the rub. Give the rub a quick mix up. We'll get a bit on to the chicken. Don't think the microphone's picking it up, but it's quite windy out here tonight. And some of the rub is landing in the chicken. Some of it isn't. I'm also remembering there's turmeric in this, so my fingers are dyed. So give that a nice pat in. Flip each one of them over and do the underside. So same again, a little touch of oil, and then season that side as well. And just give them all a good move around, try and catch anything that's fallen on the board, you don't want to leave it behind. Uh, the measurements in the description below will be enough to do these four. If you want to make extra up um, to store away, then go for it. Uh, but if you're just doing four and you want to make up a quick rub, those measurements should get you there. Right, those are looking pretty good to me. So we'll set them back onto our plate. I'll have a clean down, try and wash the turmeric off my hands, and then we'll talk about the sauce that's going into them as well. All right, we're back. Everything's nice and clean. Managed to get most of the turmeric off my hands, I think. So let's talk about what else is going into these. So of course, every good burger needs a burger bun. Uh, we're just going with normal white rolls today. I have brushed them with a little bit of mayo because um, we're going to toast those over the coals. You need some kind of fat on the buns to get them to toast up nicely. Uh, otherwise, you're just drying them out. So you can use mayo, butter, drizzle of oil, whatever you prefer. I just find mayo gives you a nicer crust. We are, of course, going to put a little bit of cheese on there. So there's only one kind of cheese you can have on your burger. There is no debate. Uh, we have some sliced onion, uh, just cut into rings for a little bit of crunch. Because as I said, we're doing avocado burger. Well, we're doing avocado chicken burgers. Avocado is smashed up, so a little bit of lemon juice and salt in there, but it's quite soft. The chicken's nice and soft, and so maybe a little bit of gnarliness on the outside, uh, but we need some kind of crunch in there, so the onions are gonna give that. Then we need some kind of sauce. So I have uh, mayo here. Chicken burgers typically are a little bit nicer with mayo, in my opinion. Uh, so we've just got plain mayo. I have a little bit of parsley, we've just picked the leaves. So we want to, run the knife through that quickly, just to cut it down a little bit. So once you've that all cut down, I would say that's probably about a tablespoon. Go ahead, drop that in. Next up, a little bit of garlic. So you just garlic granules. Probably go in with about half a teaspoon or so. And then the only other thing we're gonna add is a good grinding of pepper and a little bit of salt. 
not too much salt. I don't really need it. And then mix that all together. You can add fresh garlic to it. Um, I've just found if you're making it ahead of time, I'm gonna leave it in the fridge, fresh garlic might be better. Uh, but if you're wanting to use it straight away, garlic, until it sits in the sauce for a little while, I think has that kind of strong burn to it. Uh, so if you're wanting all the flavor of garlic, uh, but you want to get it straight away, I usually put a few granules in there instead. So once that's all ready, set it to the side, you're ready to go. I think we have everything to hand. The avocado, I'm not going to do it right until the last minute. Uh, whilst we're putting lemon juice in there, I don't want to risk it going brown, so we'll smash it right at the end. So I'll bring you into the KJ and we'll get the chicken on to cook. Uh, then I'm so ready to eat tonight. Let's get it on. As you can see, a nice heat in the Kamado Joe. Coals are mostly pushed to the back. We still have a little bit across the front here, with nice mild heat, but across here it's maybe a little bit hotter. So we can go ahead and get our chicken on. I'm gonna put it towards the back first. We can always bring it forward if we need to. So we're nice and far away from the fire. I'll keep the lid down to make sure the flames don't get too hot uh, and char the bottom of it. We'll give them three, four minutes aside uh, and then we'll just keep turning them until they reach their internal temperature. Aiming for around 72. They've been smashed out nice and thin so they should cook pretty fast. Time to give it a try. So we just seared it off on each side, flipped it once only. Uh, so we went for about four minutes on one side, flipped it four minutes on the other side. By that stage, we were pretty much ready. Uh, they maybe had slightly longer on that second side, but because they're pounded out, they don't take long at all. For mine, I stuck a square of cheese on there. I left the other ones plain so the rest of the family can choose what they want to do with it. Some of them don't like cheese on a chicken burger. But I am um, toast to offer buns. I have the smashed avocado in the bottom. So it's just one avocado smashed up in a bowl. Uh, the juice of about half a lemon squeezed over the top of it, mixed through it, and a little bit of salt and pepper in there. The acidity in the lemon just stops it turning brown. So the chicken goes on top of that. A few slices of onion on there. Uh, and then we have our uh, garlic mayo that we made up and brush that onto the top bun on top. Job done. We have some sweet potato fries here. Always love sweet potato fries for a bit of a change, but it's time to try out the star of the show. Here we go. Oh, everything is right about that burger. The onion is definitely required. You could go lettuce, but always put lettuce in the burgers. So I love trying slightly different things to get texture, so I went raw red onion this time. Avocado was smooth. Slight little thing of citrus from the juice being mixed through it. That chicken is so tender. Lovely flavor on the outside of it for that rub. You can tighten it to 72 as well, has kept it nice and juicy inside. Nice hit of garlic off that uh, mayo as well. And I know if I put raw fresh garlic in there, it would be that like garlic burn rather than the nice taste of garlic. So I know fresh garlic might have a slightly different flavor than the granules, but if you're just looking that instant hit of it, I definitely recommend using it. But that is a tasty burger. So not much of a recipe for this one, but if you want uh, details for the rub itself, I'll put it into the description box of this video. Huge thanks to my YouTube members. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.